everybody, it's Emily with Love in the Shoebox, and I have a haul to show you all. I had a few people say that they wanted to see what I was getting, and I've been the last two days to Target, Walmart, Kohl's, Hobby Lobby, and Michael's, and I've tried to avoid crowds and still get the deals, so I'm just going to show you guys what I got. Um, I didn't see everything I went out for, but I still think I came back with some good stuff. The first place I went was Target, and it's quite a ways from my house, but I kept seeing all of these um, posts on Facebook about people getting the 10 cent puzzles and the 10 cent pencils. So I went and there was absolutely none of that, but I did still come back with a couple of things from Target. So I think I'll show you. Um, these are dinosaurs and these two dinosaurs were at the dollar spot and later at some point this year I am going to do a box with um, a prehistoric girl dino box. I got some really awesome dolls that Kim found for me and they are like prehistoric girl fun dolls. Anyway, they're kind of neat. Sounds weird, but it's really cool. And those are going to go perfectly with that. I also picked up at Target these scrunchies. And this was yesterday, so it would have been the 30th. So if you guys are going out, there might still be some. These were in a bin. They were, I believe, 70 or 75% off. I have several boxes for next year that will have the cheetah print. Anyway, these scrunchies were $1.50. I got two of them. That's not like the best deal ever, but I really like them. This one is very soft. If you can see, it's very, very soft. So anyway, I thought that I would pick up a couple of those. And then these, it's another thing, just regularly priced. I don't ever go to Target because it's so far away. It's like an hour, over an hour for me. But these balls were in the party, party favor section and they were $3 for a dozen of them. Again, not the greatest deal ever, but they're pretty nice sized bouncy balls and I thought I could use them in my fillers. So I went ahead and picked those up. That concludes my Target haul. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, I also went to Dollar General. I did not find any Christmas stuff I wanted that was clearance at Dollar General, but this is very exciting. I found in their book section a bunch of books um, that were regularly priced, and I know they change out all the time what they have, but this is just in the book section, so you might find them too. These are board books, and they're really nice. These books were a dollar, and that's just their price. Um, and they fit perfectly in the bottom of a shoebox. I would think that this would work really well. They had many different ones. I got the Spider-Man and Ariel, and the Ariel did not have any scary sea witch, sea witch pictures in it. So I picked the Ariel up, just a dollar. Um, I got this one, two by two, and it... It's basically just a really cute book of animals. It's not the Noah Ark story, but just a really cute book with different animals in it. I thought these would be really nice for the toddler boxes. Um, Cinderella, and the pictures in Cinderella, so pretty. I may go back later and see if they have any more because they're just a dollar, and I have a Dollar General very close to my house, and that's where I got these. Then there's the Five Wishing Stars, just a nice little book. And good night. Another nice this little book. And I think like even if nobody can read them English, I mean they the four books are mostly pictures anyway. So I think that the little ones would still enjoy that. Um, there were two of these. These were also a dollar, but this just peels off. But anyway, they were a dollar. I guess they're regular price. But when I looked at the back, the sticker covering it up, it originally at another retailer was $5.99. It's Princess Stories and it's got like glitter. I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna take it. Yeah, you kind of can. There's like glitter on it. And throughout the book, there are pages with, with glitter and it's just really pretty. You probably can't see a lot, but there's Belle and Rapunzel and Aladdin and Jasmine. And then the back of this book, is a poster that folds out. So I've got a couple princess theme boxes. I'm sure I will be doing this next year. So I thought these were great. 
So I'm sure you can check in your Dollar General to see what they have in the books. I just dug through them. I really hadn't done that before. And I was really surprised at what I could find for a dollar. Okay, I also went to Hobby Lobby and there was one little stuff. There wasn't a lot left. This was 80% off this little lion. Um, I went there today and yesterday, two different stores. And the little lion was originally $7.99, which is kind of crazy. I don't know who would pay that. But I got it for 80% off. Um, yeah, I don't know, like a dollar sixty something or something like that. Anyway, I didn't write up write down how much I paid for everything, so some of it is going to be an estimate. Um, I also found, and this isn't in their Christmas stuff, but they had these cute little little zipper purses, and these were marked down. And in both stores, one was in a clearance aisle. They actually had a clearance aisle there. And um, this one in another store, they had them in like an island. And these little purses were $1.74, and they were originally $6.99. And I just loved them. I think they'd be great, the 10 to 14, even the 5 to 9 maybe. And they had a whole bunch of rainbow stuff. So I also got a few of these notebooks for $0.99. Cents. And this one is one that's out of the packaging. You can see it's sparkly. I don't know how much you can see of that. And it's just a little notebook. So I just thought that was fun to go with the, with the purse. And also these, um, these are compact mirrors. And I think I got six of them. They were $1.49, which is more than I paid for the compact mirrors last year. I got them very inexpensively at Walmart after Christmas. I didn't see any this year. These were originally $5.99, but I was so, the back has the sparkle and the front says strike a pose. And it's just, I don't know if you can tell, but really good quality. I mean, like way better than the Walmart ones. Um, one is a enlarged size and one is normal for the reflection. Anyway. I really, really love these. So I picked up six. And also at Hobby Lobby, they had these keychains. And if you can see, I'm trying to look to see what you can see. Yeah, there's like sparkles that move around. It does not have water in it. It's just sparkles that move around. And it has like a, a latch so they can hook it on the whatever or a key ring. And these were um, 74 cents. And I bought a few of those to go in the same boxes with all this rainbow stuff. And the one I went to today also had a sparkly unicorn one for 74 cents. So if you can see, I just love it. So those all came from Hobby Lobby. And this as well came from Hobby Lobby. 74 cents for two notebooks. There are two different like small notebooks. And originally $2.99. And I know that this will fit in with some of the theme boxes I'm doing as well this year. And I also got these packs of washcloths. There are six, three different colors. They've got black, hot pink, and white. And these were $1.99. Um, this is the kind of quality I like in a washcloth. It's kind of, I'd say, medium quality as far as like if you're going out to buy some. But they are what I would use in my own house. They're not the real cheap 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 ones I kind of I unpackaged ones so you could I don't know if you could see but they're they're a nice quality so that was a pretty good deal I usually pay like 250 for a six pack at Dollar General and lastly at Hobby Lobby I got these marbles they always have them they weren't on sale but I used the 40% off coupon which made them just under $2, I think. Um, I love, they have my favorite marbles because I don't know if you can see, but the colors are so pretty in the Hobby Lobby. You can get them for a dollar at Dollar General and at Walmart, but the colors aren't like this. So, you know, if you're not gonna use that 40% off for anything else when you're in there, it's a good way to get really pretty marbles. And that is all I got from Hobby Lobby. I also went to Kohl's and picked up two Kohl's Cares stuffed animals. This is a fish, and I think it comes from a book. It's the Pout Pout Fish. So 
so I don't know, but they were on sale for two fifty. dollars That's half price. They had other animals, but I wasn't as crazy about the other animals. I wish they would have had a Curious George left, but they were all gone. But I did get two of the fish, and I think that they will make really good ocean-themed boxes to go in there. Okay, I also went to um, Michael's. I picked up just a few things there. This is a light wand, and it lights up. You can see the different colors. It's a reindeer. They were clearance 60% off for $2. So maybe they'll get even cheaper. Again, Michael's is a ways from me. Michael's and Hobby Lobby are a 45-minute drive, so I don't go a lot. But um, maybe you all can go and check these out. They also had, I think, a Santa. But I thought this would be really good in a boy box. Boys like light up things too. And Michael's, I picked up two packages of pencils. These were 60% off. Not the greatest deal, but I couldn't find any pencils at Walmart left. And there's like a glitter sparkly pink and pink stars and red with unicorns. I thought that they might go well in theme boxes. They ended up being 60 cents with the Christmas discount. And lastly for Michaels, I got this. I thought this was a really good deal. There's a bunch of pencils with the fancy erasers and these were $2. I probably should have picked up more than one set, but I only picked up one. So and that concludes the Michaels. Now, lastly, I'll show you my Walmart haul and most of my stuff came from Walmart. Um, I got some things a few days ago, but I already put them at the church building and they're not with me. So I'm just gonna talk about what I have with me. Um, I got two of these Baby Alives, Little Maya. Um, she was 250 and I've found her in multiple Walmarts. Some of them are sold out, but you can check. Um, here's the, the barcode. So you can look on Brickseek or Walmart's app to see if it's there. Um, I also unboxed one so you could see they are all, they're cuter outside of the box, in my opinion. Um, she has a lot of hair, but it's all bundled up behind her. And for $2.50, this is a really good quality doll. And she fits so well in your shoe box. There's a lot of room for other things. I really like her. I don't know if she sucks her thumb. Maybe she does. She kind of I'm going to say no. Look like she did, but no. Anyway, I just think she's really prettier outside of the box. So I just wanted you to see what she looked like unpackaged. And I picked up two of these little stuffed animals today for 75% off. Today is the 31st of December. And it was the first day that their Christmas stuff went to 75% off. Um, so these were 75 cents or 74 cents, I think 74 cents. I will probably remove the hat that says my first Christmas, but they're very soft. And I thought for a two to four year old box, that was really good. I have gotten, and Kim got a bunch too, my friend that buys things for my boxes. Um, when they were 50% off, there was a lot better selection then. So I do always suggest when the holiday stuffed animals get discounted, I would go for them the first day, like as soon as they go 50% off because some Walmarts had absolutely no stuffed animals left and the ones that did, um, the selection's really low. So here's two more stuffed animals I purchased today for 74 cents, but um, that was it and I got a lot more that I have I don't have with me that I paid $1.50 for at 50% off, but I picked up what I could for the 74 cents. Okay, I got this cute little Christmas hair bow. It was originally $5, so that would be $1.25 at 75% off that I got that for. I just found these, like, it's a necklace. Um, it was just, the, it was the selection was low. You just found things here and there, and I grabbed them. So it's one of these pencils with a big eraser. Got this for 24 cents. I found it like in a totally different section of the store. 
that's why you use your app and you scan it, you know. Um, this was in the clearance stuff, this bouncy ball that um, get light, lights up. It was 24 cents. I scanned it though, because I thought somebody put it in the wrong section. I didn't know it was Christmas, but I guess it is green. But 24 cents. Um, I got a few of these pens, the jingle pens. These were 75% off, so 24 cents. Those are fun. I like to put those in frozen theme boxes. I think they kind of go with it. Or any winter theme box. Um, there were a few chopsticks left. I got several of these at 50% off, but today I only found three, but at 75% off, they were 24 cents. So I grabbed all three packages that were there. I just got some little trinkets like this. It's another light up thing that you wear. Um, this one would have been 50 cents and this one 24 cents, but that was it. There was like one, so, and it was all a mess at this point. Like there's just piles of stuff. I got two packages of these um, frozen activity pads would have been a, a dollar 24, I think, and you get a bunch of them. So, and then I took one out so you could see it's just a coloring coloring pages, but they're little. They take up no room in the box, so I thought they're, they're a good filler. I also, this is not Potter Holiday Clearance, but I had gotten the same hat at a different Walmart, and I saw it at this Walmart, and I'm like, I bet it's clearanced. So I scanned it, and it's $2. I paid a dollar for the other one, but I do have girl superhero themes going this year that I'm going to be doing boxes of, and this just really goes with the superhero vibe. So I went ahead and picked that up for $2. It was originally um, $6.98. So that's still a good deal, even though it wasn't a dollar. And then the last bunch of stuff that I got, I got a whole bunch of coloring books um, at Walmart, what they had. I actually got what they had. So they didn't have more, I would have bought more. Um, this one was a quarter. 75% off has stickers, um, pictures, and activities. And I'll go ahead and put the UPC because maybe you'll be able to find it still left at your Walmart. You can check. And this one for a quarter, Merry and Bright. And I think this one is like for an older, older kids. It's got more detailed pictures. Here's the UPC for this one. These coloring books were 74 cents. So they weren't as cheap. They have stickers in the front. And then this is made out of, these are made out of that white paper. So it's really pretty. It's like really good quality paper. For the coloring and here's the UPC for this I think your best shot at finding these is to go back in the book section and see if the people that work there have not pulled them yet if they're in the book section they're not marked as clearance people don't know so um, they're just back there and you can scan them with your app and see um, these were actually on a cart and they were shelving them and I just pulled them off the cart and bought them so they went really fast. But then I did find one back in the book section that they didn't see. This Crayola one was a quarter. I'm not as crazy about this one, but it's got the cheaper paper, but it was a quarter. So I went ahead and grabbed it. Here's the UPC on this one. And lastly, I think this one's really fun. Um, this book was originally $7.98 and it's a coloring book and it was marked down for, to a dollar. And it it teaches you about colors and blending um, at the beginning, and then it gives you examples, I guess. And then the rest is like really pretty cat and dog and animal pictures, and it's that white, really pretty paper to color. And then over here, some of these it just gives you like a color palette. To use I don't really completely under I don't think it's like the paints where you know it's just a color palette 
So I will be sending this with a really nice set of colored pencils or maybe even some gel pens. That's really pretty, really pretty. I would have bought more of these if I would have seen more, but I didn't. But here is the UPC and you can check at your store, see if there are any. Okay, well that is my first haul of the 2021 shoebox season. And I'm glad you all got to see it. And hopefully I'll be back with some more pretty soon. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a great new year.